hello everybody, especially those people who are using 64-bit windows and they want to develop EMG CV projects, especially if you want to try my code, my project solution files that I've uploaded on my blog, tutorials.bracesites.com. Now, if you have had this problem of the EMG CV invoke error or you're having some issue uh, running my code on your 64-bit Windows, uh, well, uh, the issue, I am here to resolve that issue for you today because recently I shifted to Windows, 64-bit uh, Windows myself. So, I uh, here's what I want you to do. Go to my website, download any code you find. Uh, the one that I've opened, the solution file that's open in front of you right now is the level uh, 3E face extraction code. Uh, now, all you have to do is just try and you extract the extract the folder and then you just open the solution file and try to debug it and see what happens okay let's just give it an image browse and there you have it the type initializer for blah 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 emgcv dot invoke uh, error through an exception now as usual this is the error that I've been getting a lot of uh, complaints about and people have been asking for help but at recent I couldn't help until now because ever since I shifted I had trouble with it a lot so I finally resolved it now uh, I said in my 32 in my previous tutorials that for this error all you have to do is you have to add the deal and files from the EMGU CV installers bin folder to your uh, project's debug folder. But let's see if our debug folder already has those DLL files or not and if it does then why is this error even occurring it again. So I'm just opening a level 3 face detection code. I'm going to my bin file opening the debug file and it so still happens that actually I have all the DLL files available. Then what could be the problem? Okay, the problem actually is that the DLL files I'm using are actually made for 32-bit targeted code. I built my, I debugged my code with uh, the target platform target set to 32-bit. So when I try to compile it on my 64-bit platform, it actually gives me an error. There is a compatibility issue and the system is, thinks probably that the DLL files are not even up there. So they are there, but the wrong ones. These are the 32-bit DLL files, not the 64-bit. So either I change, I replace them with the 64-bit version of these files, or I could simply do one thing, to set the target platform to 32-bit. So let's stop the debugging. Now I want you to right-click the solution, open your configuration manager, and just double-check that both these properties, as you can see over here. If they are, just close. Now right click your pro project, go to the properties, and over here select the build tab. Now in the build tab, as you can see this platform is set to any CPU and uh, platform target is also set to any CPU, which for uh, my windows means that it is for any CPU means my current platform whatever it is, whether it's 32-bit or it's 64-bit. So last time I coded this application of a 32-bit platform, so it was set for 32-bit, but right now my platform is 64-bit, so it's actually, my target is 64-bit. So there's a compatibility issue between 32-bit and 64-bit. All you have to do is just select the x86, this is the 32-bit uh, option, and try and debug. And again, give the same image. Let's see. Well, there you have it. We have solved our issue of the compatibility, and the code is running just fine, no error at all. So just to double check, let's give it another image. And yes, it is working perfectly. So, here's the conclusion. Either you set your platform, the target platform, you change that, or you can replace those DL files with the proper version of your platform. So now let's try to do that as well. So you can go with either option. Okay, so let's reset our target platform back to any CPU and let's just see how we work with the 64-bit settings. Now, we first we try to, uh, you know, 
uh, go from 64 to 86 compatibility. Now we're just going to stick to uh, running the code on 64 bit as it is without modifying much except for the DL file, replacing the DL files. And now we just minimize this. And you go to, if you haven't so installed the 64-bit uh, the 64-bit uh, installer of the EMG CV, just get it from their website. And uh, you see I have both of them installed, the 86 version, that is the 32-bit, and the 64-bit installer of the same version. As you can see, this is a version of the EMG CV, and this is the installer type of install this is a 32 bit and 64 bit so I've got them both installed into my uh, directory CEMG so what I do is I open this 64 bit install uh, installed version I go to the bint folder and over here there are various DLL files from which I need to pick now which ones do I need to pick for that I am going to open the debug folder of my project which we have right here. Open the bin, and there you are. You have the debug folder. Okay. Now just see that these are the DL files we need to replace. These are the 32 bit DL files, which you need to now replace with the 64 bit version of the same DL files. So, which are probably. So, you just note down which these are and select them from this folder. So I select those from this folder, from the bin folder, and I copy them, I go back to my debug folder, okay, we're in the proper debug folder, and we just paste, and we copy, and replace them all, and now we go back to our camera capture application, remember, to check once again that you have set it back to any CPU because this is the second method we're trying to resolve the issue of uh, running and uh, running it on 64 bit. Now we just simply debug and give it the image again. And ta da! There you have it. A successful run at uh, 64 bit platform target that is any CPU and the 32 bit as well. So you can work either way, either you can set it, uh, you can just let it be at the settings, whatever it is when you download it. That is, you can leave it at 64 bit and change the DL files, or you could uh, let the DL files remain the same and change the platform target of your application. So that was it for resolving the EMG CV invoke error, especially on 64-bit, and to be able to, to successfully run my code on your system. So I hope that helps.